This is question number 10 and it's a non-calculator question. In part A for three marks, we're told both boys and girls attend Sunnyville High School. One third of the students at the school are boys. 25% of the boys in the school like football. Given that there are 14 boys in the school who like football, work out the number of girls in the school. You must make your workings clear. So let's write to the examiner. This is part A. Let's consider boys. Boys now are equal to one third. That's going to give us now that girls are going to be equal to two thirds. So boys are one third, girls are two thirds of the total school number. So let's start with the boys. We know that 25% is equal to 14 boys. If I want 100%, I need to multiply 14 by 4. That's going to give me 56. So we can say that there are 56 boys. So we can say from this, one third will be equal to 56. So we can say now, therefore, two thirds is going to be equal to double this amount. And we can say that's 112. So we can say there are 112 girls. So 112 girls. So three marks now for setting that up and making it clear. We know if boys are one third of the population, girls are two third. 25% is equal to 14. 100% is going to be 56. There's 56 boys. One third is equal to 56. Therefore, two thirds is going to be equal to 112. That's one of the many different ways that you could set up that question. In part B, for three marks, it says in a different school, the ratio of boys to girls is three to seven. There are 210 girls at the school. How many children are there at the school? Okay, so let's set this one up. Lots of different approaches with this one. What we could do is an equivalent ratio. So what we've got then is the boys to girls. So we can see now boys to girls. So boys to girls ratio is given, and this is going to be three to seven. What I'm going to do is write an equivalent ratio. So I've got 210. What I've done here is multiplied up by 30. So I'm going to do exactly the same here. And that is going to give me 90. So we can say, therefore, there are 90 boys. And we've got now the 210 girls. So and 210 girls, just jotting this in. I've just used equivalent ratios. And I can say from here, 90 plus 210 will be equal to 300. So we can say now 300 students in total. So 300 students in total. And that again is one of the many ways of answering that. Let's just change that in total rather than into total. And that now will give us the three marks. So with that one, again, lots of different approaches that you could do. That's just one of many of them. Boys to girls is three to seven. I've multiplied up now to get an equivalent ratio. I've multiplied this one by 30, so I need to do the same here. Therefore, 90 boys and 210 girls, we've added them together to get 300. So three marks in part B. Another alternative would to, uh, be to say that there are 210 girls, which is equal to seven parts. 210 divided by 7 gives us that one part is going to be 30. 3 times by 30 is 90 and add them together. So you can see lots of different approaches. Either way around, a good structured answer with 300 as our final answer will be worth the 3 marks.